Hello everybody, this is Tan Tan here and following my Cyclones review from the last time which is the Cross Attacker I'm going to finish him today with my three machine the other three machines which is going to combine to the thing we call Thunder Guardian but before we get to our review I just want to say that I was editing this video when I read the news about Chadwick Boseman aka Black Panther so from my channel I want to express my deepest sympathy toward his family and may we he with the best now. So along with the last, the previous two machine, this th other three machines seems more like children friendly because they are not that have that menace about predators. So what we have here is the number three machine, the falcon, and then the fourth machine, the elephant, and then the final is the deer. And their colors are somewhat similar because the tones for the elephant and the falcon is a similar one to the wolf and saber tooth tiger we seen last time. Only the deer's new one because the color will be green. And that's sort of the purpose which I'm gonna explain later. Now let's get to the individual machines. So here we have number three, the falcon. And of course, this is, uh, since this is the same line of the previous cross attacker, so we can see a lot of sport vibe onto this one especially if you turn around and you will see this section over here just the same as the motorbike and I really enjoy this kind of design because it shows that this is somewhat really sporty you can see that there's a pipe, exhaust pipe over there and the this section here just like a motorbike I think I'm gonna put some Kamen Rider figures onto him that would look really nice here's the Kamen Rider Ryu key and on sit in onto this machine and as you can see it looks really nice to have this kind of design and I just love the way this is but unfortunately this is not a so separate piece so you can actually do more with this one so I would gonna take Ryuki out for now and from the details I'm gonna try to show you out the details this is as you can see there are quite a few of clear parts onto this guy over here and that will be the main engine on the wings and onto the belly of him then the nicest thing about this guy I think will be on the details on the on the body section you got a nice like decals like details of the falcon head you got the number three and if there's a petrol top onto the body of him and the wing is quite strange as well because of the way this guy transforms so the wing is just doesn't look like the wing to me so that is why I don't really enjoy this guy as a bird but rather as a combining piece and bring it onto the bottom flip that flip that guy up as you can see that you have pairs of claw over here which will become the hands of the robot later on but more on that later the pig can open but that just looks stupid and ugly I am not also not a fan of the face as well it just look kind of chubby to me and also the hair on the top of this section over here is made up of rubbers so it will bend and you don't have to worry about it and it looks kind of nice but that will be it for this machine let's get to the, the next one next up is the elephant which is machine number four and as you can see the main color here will be blue and I kind of dislike this design even though it looks kind of cool but I'm still not a design uh, because why because if you can see the two elephant teeth over there this is massively huge and it's made of rubbers and the fact that it's gonna stay there just keep my eyes sore and the elephant nose also a pain in the ass because it doesn't move at all and it touched the ground so it's kind of stupid and other than that if you look at the leg they are kind of too thin in my opinion and I just don't like that as well but then you still got some nice details of number four that's silver painted and you got some nice detail here and there but this guy is mostly for transformation so I'm not a really big fan of this design and because I don't like elephant as a base for gut tie and all that stuff but I'm gonna still give this guy some credit for being the kind of nice elephant but moving on and the final machine will be the deer which is the kind of weird design for such a beast because hardly we see deer as a deluxe class gatai and combiner stuff and this deer reminds me of house baratheon long lip robot so this is a green deer and it is my say the favorite design of mine in this series because it the proportion looks really nice i love the way the horn is and you got some nice deer tattoo onto the neck as well and if you turn this guy around and focus on the number five on this on the back leg it is number five and it's covered in the kind of 
chain and wheels design with metallic paint that is a really nice touch and also this guy proportion looks really good and i just love about love that about him the only downfall i can give around him is you turn him around and you can see this hole on his ass it's just kind of odd to me and i want to stop doing that that is disgusting and other than that you can see the robot head clearly over there and it is nice to see that the horn is actually painted plastic so it's a full clear piece and they painted on it and that just is really nice and enough for the individual machines now let's get to combine these guys first up flip this panel up like that and then you're gonna bring the whole head down and by doing that you reveal this robot head over here and then bring the head up again it's on the Z connection point and you can rotate the horns up and collide them together turn them around for leg do the same thing over here Notice that yellow section over there, this is spring loaded, so actually press it to push up the leg. Then bring it down. Then collide the body. And we are done with the deer. Now let's move on. Now to the elephant. First remove the nose. You will need it. then bring down the head now you can actually start assembling first by closing this leg up so press here and it will fold up repeat that three more times Now just turn them around and then you can start open this section up and then bring out the whole leg. This is the same kind of connection towards the uh, Gar Buffalo during the uh, Gar Ranger or Power Ranger Wild Force. It's still a smart way of having robot legs though. And now you can close this two piece down like that and close the leg. And you split it. And bring up. This is hollow though, so you're gonna close this panel up. It's gonna fill in. Actually, you better. Place this panel in position, then close the whole thing together. And do the same thing over here as well. And then bring up the feet. Then the knee guard as well. And turn this around. Like that for now. And you're also done with the elephant. Now let's move on to the final component, which is the falcon. For the falcon, first remove the claw section. And then also the whole body of him. You won't need you will need this for now. Or like ever. Now turn him around and throw out the arms. This will be the robot arms. Just like that. And then at this point, you're going to bring the head down. And you're ready for assemble. First up, slide the deer body onto the elephant via this. Collapse them. And then turn him, turn him around. And this is where the elephant butt will get in place. 
bring that up a little bit and then you're gonna plug this tab over here onto this and then it's gonna connect all the arms to this joint over here and bring back the two falcon claw they will become the hands of the robot and we are done after finishing transforming this guy we have a what somewhat i would call a very look strong looking bot because of the proportion and the way the arm is positioned and although it is because of the bulky leg as well so this robot strikes me as a very gymnastic type and i really enjoy that about him and but then to be fair there is not too much to talk about at this deluxe version because this is all the similar details we have seen during the beast mode with the only new thing will be the head scope and this head scope is really nice so i'm gonna try and reach for it because it's damn heavy and as you can see the head scope is a full black it's like a helmet and then there's a mask inside as well and we have the two printed blue eyes which is nothing very special and unfortunately you cannot open it so after transforming you can see all the numbers of all the beast machine so we have number four number five and number three on top and of course as a deluxe this guy barely get any articulation at all so the only articulation you get is from the arms like a little bit of here and there because of the road transformation and the rotation gimmick as at least with that to, to the last that is pretty much it and you got some weight tie swivel as well and but to be honest i would never cut this guy into any poses and for finally for the comparison i will bring in the cross attacker and then just, just let you see the size of this guy and as you can see here the Thunder Guardian towers over cross attacker and of course they can combine but that is for the next video so as for the weapons of course you can bring in the elephant head and you just can simply rotate a few things around and you got this kind of maze I think yeah the renaissance maze and that is a nice concept but executed poorly because of the point of having the elephant extra teeth is completely pointless and i see no use of it and of course you can also use the lower body as a shield as well just do a few transformation step and that also is a lot of stretch i know because this 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 this, this look dumb but anyway this is what we got but the really highlight of this is when you combine the five machines together which i'm gonna do it shortly but anyway thanks for watching guys and if you're new to my channel hit subscribe and that like button also follow my Instagram and last but not least if you feel like you can help me out with some figures or the money that need to be done by some expensive figures you can feel free to buy me a coffee over there and that could be it for today's I'll catch up you guys later Tonton out